Hello YouTube and welcome back to my 1.18 Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play. So we're now on episode 4 and I honestly can't believe how far we've already come. In the last episode we went on a massive adventure in search of a saddle, a name tag, a new doggo and a horse. If you haven't already seen the last episode you can check it out here, there will be a card on the screen to take you straight there. Um, as we did so much adventuring in the last episode, I did want to stay around the base today and do some much needed home improvements. I've decided that lasagna, he needs a new home and he can't be living with the other animals for too much longer. So what we're going to be doing in today's episode is building him a nice new barn to live in. Right, so you also may be asking yourself, Pear, why are you down at the docks? Okay, you did so much mining in your last episode, surely you can't be doing any more. I asked you guys to name my two doggos in the previous episode, which you did, and I love the names that you guys have chosen. However, I didn't have enough name tags for both of them, so here I am, fishing away. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get on with the fishing, we're gonna get on with this episode, it's gonna be a good one. Make sure you like, subscribe if you like the stuff, here we go. Thankfully that name tag took absolutely no time whatsoever to get. So I'm going to head up to base. We're going to get this name tag all sorted out. We're going to name our doggers and then we can get on with the building. Here we are ready to name. So the most requested or oh, the most liked comment was Roger. So there we go. We're going to have one dog named Roger and then the second one. So this is the other one that you guys chose is Pebbles. There we go. So there we got we got Roger and we got Pebbles. So let's go and name you. you. Can be Pebbles and you are Roger. Welcome to the world, Pebbles and Roger. If we're gonna make a barn, we're gonna need lots and lots of wood. So as you can see over there, I've already started a bit of the uh, resource gathering. We still need more, so I'm gonna make quite quite a big barn today for lasagna. He deserves it. I'm gonna get on with chopping some of this wood now. I'll see you once we're done. Okay, so we are back in our storage room and we have nearly managed to gather a double chest full of wood. So hopefully that should be enough to get our barn going. So what I'm going to do is we need to head down and terraform the land. I'm going to get on with that now and uh, yeah, let's go. Just before I start terraforming, I'm just going to let you know kind of what the plan is. So this, I've decided I'm going to turn this into the barn and then I'm going to have to move all the animals out. Lasagna can stay. So I'm going to take away this area here. I'm going to get rid of all of that. I want to flatten this for a future build stay tuned you'll understand what i'm doing there and then i want to sort this area out here so i'm going to need to do quite a lot don't want to wait any longer i just want to get straight into it so here we go Right, so now we've got this massive area cleared out. I'm going to get rid of the stone and replace that with dirt, obviously. And we've got this massive area cleared out so we can put a barn there and then some stuff around the back here. Next thing I want to do is I just want to level this area out a bit. I'm not sure how high I'm going to bring it up yet, but I'll just have a play around with that and see what we do there. Okay, so do you know what? That didn't actually take as much dirt as I thought it was going to. I'm just going to place a couple of torches again. I think that speeds out the way that the grass grows. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So I'm just going to place that there. But I think I do like that area. I think that's exactly what I want. Nice big area there. Next thing I need to do now is move the animals out of here and then prepare the area for building the barn. I've made just a tiny little pen over there, just a temporary one. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is just try and get all of these animals over into there. So, I mean, I don't know how well this is going to go. Six and a half hours later. Hey! Right, now we can get building. I know I'm taking this down because I need an upgrade, but it's... It's kind of saddening me a little bit having to take this down. I kind of, I kind of like looking at this. I just really hope this barn is worth it. I was just, uh, just taking down this barn as, as you could see in the little time lapse there, and I found some intruders on my land. And uh, you know what? I am not take too kindly to intruders. So we're gonna have to try and take these guys out. Ah, there 
There we go. And in honor of this great battle, that'll mark it. <laughs> Back to this then. Right, so that is the area cleared out. I'm not too sure how big I actually want this barn. Originally, I was just gonna fill this whole thing up with the barn. If I make it a bit smaller, I could have room to put extra stuff there. I made this barn in a creative world. It wasn't too big in the creative world. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lay it out and we'll see. We'll see how I feel. Right, so what I've done is I've just plotted out like the outline for it so this is obviously going to be the entrance here go all the way down there so in the creative world i only made it up to here but i thought i've got such a big area i'm just going to extend it back to here we've got all this area back here to do whatever we want with so i'm quite happy with the size of this gonna start putting up some walls and hopefully it should start taking shape Right, so we've got our walls up now. They're not going to stay like normal birch. I am going to strip them. So I just want to layer in some pl birch planks across here. So And then after that, we will strip it so we're not wasting any wood. So yeah, I'm just going to start layering these in. Right, so there we go. Everything's all nice and layered in there. We're just gonna strip those, but before we do that, go and get some sleep. Right, so here we go. Once we start stripping these logs, you'll see <laughs> it no longer looks like <laughs> some kind of cow pattern. Um, it'll actually start to look quite nice. Once you do that, you can see how it's all textured in quite nice. We'll keep doing that. I'll go get a new axe and then uh, I'll let you know when it's done. Okay, and now that is all nice and looking pretty. The next thing we need to do is get our spruce and just go across the top here. We're just going to connect to all of this stuff. Okay, now that's done. We just come along the bottom here and just place a load of trapdoors all nice and pretty along here like this. Right, so the next thing we want to do is just texture in the floor. So I've got a few different blocks that I want to put in the floor. So I'm just going to remove all of this and then I'm just going to completely place it back in. Okay, so that is that, the floor textured in. To be honest, I would have liked a bit more gravel in it and I might go and find some more gravel, but for now, that is literally all the gravel I had. See a nice overview, quite, quite nice. I quite like this. So we'll just move on to the next bit now and then uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Okay, so I just made a nice little second floor here. Um, it's just out of blocks and slabs. What we're gonna do next is just gonna place some fences around here so you can't fall off. We put a couple extra blocks in there just to kind of space it out, make it look a bit better. But I'm quite happy with the way the floor looks now. We've got this lovely, lovely second floor. We're just going to keep on building, keep on seeing how we go with it.
Alright, <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that slightly longer time lapse of me uh, just putting the roof on this and sorting out the second floor. And I've got to be honest, I am very happy with the way it's looking. Let me just uh, get over here quickly and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, well, there you go. Well, there's the back of it. It'll look better once the door's on and we've done some decoration, but have a look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. There's still a little bit more decoration on it. Right, so the next thing I want to do is put like a big barn door on here. So the way we're going to do this is just simply... Oh, just by doing this you should be able to create an actual barn oh my god i cannot place these uh but you kind of see what it's going to look like so let me just uh, get that done and then yeah we'll, we'll go from there there you go have a look at that wonderful looking barn doors now these look proper what an entrance we have to this barn now look at that it's looking fantastic I've just come back up to the base because I needed to grab a, a couple extra materials, but just have a look at that. How brilliant is that looking now? It's enough to make a grown man cry. I can't wait till we start building all around here. It's going to look incredible. This series is going to be amazing. All right, let me grab my materials. What is it with these intruders trying to take my land? Of my property right so with the disaster averted and me looking part porcupine we can now get on with the detailing of the outside of this barn so i want to put some stairs around here and um, just make it all look a bit pretty because at the moment although i do like the look of it i think we can make it look a bit more special maybe some stairs here some stairs here i don't know we'll do something there but let's have a go let's see what we can come up with Okay, so I've just been playing around with some different designs um, and I've added these on here um, to kind of make them look a bit nicer but I can't decide now if that's too grand for a barn or if that's just right. So I'm going to do some more of it um, <laughs> We'll see. we'll see how it looks at the end. You know what? If you do something, it's worth doing properly. We're going to go with this design. I think it looks, it just looks over what looks better. That, it's just too plain. Anyone could build that. That's, that's, that's nothing. This, now that, that's got some grandness to it. All right, we're going to keep going with this all the way around. Okay, so now I think we're getting somewhere. This is looking really cool now. I just started going in with the uh, slabs and the trap doors as well all along the top to give it a bit of extra depth, a bit of something separate, a bit of something new on there. Um, but I'm really liking the way that this is looking now. So I think we need to do something in the middle to break up all that burt. For now, I'm just going to copy this onto the other side and then, yeah, we'll have a look and see what that looks like. Okay, so I've just been messing around and trying to make the entrance out the to the back. I think I like that. Not too sure. I think I needed more contrast between birch and the spruce. Otherwise, it just starts to look a bit too weird. So I've changed out the spruce here and put oak. I was going to try and make some more oak in here as well. Too much what I'm going to do there. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. We'll find something that we like. Right, so I think I have finally come up with a design I like. It does blend in. It's not just all one colour now, all one material. So we've got the barrels on the bottom with some uh, spruce leaves coming out of them. And then we've got a little little hanging thing there. I might change that to oak. Have we got any oak on me? No. I might change that one to oak. I don't know yet. I'm happy with that. I'm going to do that all the way around now. Loving that now. So I've put the bushes on the both sides with the barrels. I've even done some bit on the front and moved around some things, made some little overhangs there. I'm really liking the way this is looking now. So that's it for now for the outside. I think now we're going to have to move on detailing the inside of it. So let's get straight on with that. Okay, so the first thing I did in here is I put this board around the outside because uh, I thought it might look cool. But to be honest, I'm not really liking it. And I think when I've got this in here as well, it just feels a bit too cramped. And if I want to start decorating these corners, um, especially over here, I've, I've only got one block really to do anything. I'm probably just going to leave this in and then take all of this out as well. Okay, so I've just taken all of the outline bordering down. And to be honest, I think it does look a lot more open now. I don't like those those circles that I've got in the middle of the walls. They're slightly off centered to the middle on the inside. I think maybe if we just put some more decoration, we can cover all of that stuff up. So yeah, happy with the way that this is looking now. I might sort the upstairs out and then I'll start getting with the proper detailing. So I'm just going to do upstairs and then, yeah, we'll see how it goes. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do in here is literally just cover the walls in spruce trapdoors, just so we can cover up all these awkward different blocks. Hopefully that should look quite good. I need to cover up this hole because I've already fallen down it three times. I've fallen and I can't get up. And I've literally just started placing blocks, so that's going to be high on the priority list as well. We'll put some logs across the top as well for some supporting beams, but let's get that done now. Okay, so here we go. We've got the supporting beams up at the top here. Um, we've got our walls nice and sorted here. A little trapdoor here so we can go up and down. Uh, and then we've got the most important fence so we don't keep falling down and breaking our ankles. I might try and do a little bit of texture in here. I'm uh, not too sure what I'm going to do. I was thinking about just getting rid of this whole wall, pushing it through and having a little balcony area, but I don't know how much space it's going to take up on the other side. I'm going to have a play around in here, see what we can come up with, and I'll let you know when I've got something good. Okay, so what I tried to do is out here, I just obviously made the little out area, but now I've done that. <laughs> Campfires look out of place, and now all the birch look, this looks like there's too much birch, it looks too bright. So I do like the balcony, I am going to have to have a little play around of it. Right, so I'm not too sure kind of what, <laughs> what I'm going to do to fix it, but we'll figure it out. I think I figured out what I'm going to do. I don't know if I want spruce leaves, I think I might stick with the oak, or maybe the birch there. Uh, I'm not too sure, maybe birch, I think birch will look good with the contrast between a lot of it but yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put um leaves all over this and then that should hopefully then get rid of so much of the the birch wood it's just all solid color there so who would have guessed birch leaves look good against birch wood <laughs> i'm really happy with the way that looks now that's exactly kind of what i was looking for so i think i'm gonna get rid of the tr the campfires uh, for now i'm gonna leave them eventually i might get rid of them but yeah happy with that i'm happy with that we can continue on the actual detailing on the inside now <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, I've got candles on the wall and uh, lanterns up there. So I actually want lanterns all over the place. Since that's the only light source I want to use in here. The only downside is I don't actually have any lanterns. And I also don't have any iron to make the lanterns. So what I'm going to have to do, I know there was a load of iron over there somewhere. I think I found it on episode one somewhere. So I'm going to go over there, just get some iron quickly. And then we'll come back and make everything we need to make. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. We're over at one of these stony peaks. I think it's called a stony peaks. Um, it's just by the village that we uh, found in episode one. But just have a look. There's iron here. There's iron there. Iron there. Iron there. All this coal. There's emeralds up there. I mean, <laughs> it's going to have all the stuff we need. So I'm just going to quickly get all the materials I'm going to need for a while. And then we'll head back and continue. Okay, so we are back from the stony mountains. Have a look at this, four stacks of iron. <laughs> Nearly four stacks, three stacks and 54. And I was only there for about 10 minutes and I didn't even get all of it either. Amazing how much iron is up there. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for that to smelt and then <laughs> we can get on with the build. Okay, so we're back down here. We've got ourselves some trip wire hooks. We've got some chains, we've got some lanterns, barrels, chests, hay bales, and a couple of other random bits. So first thing I wanna do is just try and make this area look a bit more like a horse would uh, be in here. Yeah, that's nice and simple. Then we'll put maybe a couple here as well. All right, we like that. And then we'll just put a few more different bits in. Like I think what I was going to do as well, maybe something like barrel, put chest on there, crafting table, barrel. Hmm. I'll have a play around with it. We'll see what we can come up with. But I like that. That looks kind of cool. Okay, so I've just put these item frames on the walls, but I put leather in them. <laughs> I don't know, it felt a bit wrong to kind of hang leather next to the horse. So I just thought I'd bring up the obscene amount of saddles I have and just try, <laughs> try and put one of those in instead. I feel better about having those. I feel a bit better about hanging up a saddle on the wall rather than some leather. Okay, so the plan was up here to have like the walls full of chests and stuff, but because <laughs> I got the trap doors here, I can't actually place anything here. I've put the barrels so you can kind of you can use the barrels as storage, but they're also like decorative as well. I've hung some chains down from the ceiling. To be honest, I think the inside of this might be done now. I'm loving exactly what I've done in here, so I think we should uh, just move the horses in. Yeah, I think that's that's this barn done. Yeah, lasagna. How are you finding your new home? Do you like it? Oh, look at him. He's jumping with joy. Oh, lovely. Right, let's do the rest of the area. We've got all of these just here at the moment. So I need to make the back of this area look a bit more pretty. I do something with this path. I'll crack on with that now. But I had to move them out of here because I want to build this area. So I had to move them into a smaller pen. But unfortunately, there's too many animals. So I'm just going to have to uh, let these ones roam free.
Goodbye, my beautiful animals. You'll be sorely missed over there. I hope you find a good new home. Lasagna, how did you get out? You're not meant to be able to get out of there. Oh, I bet it was that hay bale. Come on, you gotta go back. You gotta get back in there. There we go. Stay. Stay put. Stay. Yeah, I'm on you. I suppose we can't leave you out in the rain. Back with lasagna in the barn. There we go. You can stay in here as well. Okay, so all the animals are safely moved. Uh, everyone's out the way. We've got the chest put around here for the time being. Now I've got this big area here. I think what I want to do, I'm not really too sure on the design yet, but I want to have like um, it coming out from here. That way it will cover up this and make a bit more sense. But I want it to come over. Then we'll have the animals inside like with a little roof over them a bit. I'm not too sure what we're going to do over there, but I think I might just make it look pretty for now. We're going to make some kind of roof area, farmyard area right here. So I'll crack on with that now. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. <clears throat> I like the design of it. It's got the spruce to match that and the oak as well. There's no birch on it, but I don't think that really matters. The only thing I don't like is that back wall being dirt. I don't know what to do about that. So I'll keep playing around with it. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I think I might try and move the animals in. I've just found a slight problem with this design that I wasn't anticipating. Come on in, come on in everyone. Um, I'm just like, all right, thank you, stay in here. Oh, what? You coming with me? <laughs> so apparently animals can climb ladders in Minecraft. That was something I did not know about. I'm going to try and close these. Maybe that might help. No, they're going to... Can they? I think that's done it. Right, we'll leave it like that. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But so far, this is the pen. They're loving it. Look, he's already having a little munch on the hay there. But yeah, lovely stuff. Okay, everybody, that's going to be it from me for episode four. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. So it was a little bit different in this episode, I know. So I tried to focus a lot more on building. And with that, we tried to do some time lapses using the replay mod. If you enjoyed watching me play around with the replay mod, let me know in the comments. We can do more of it. If you didn't, we'll go back to the old style. But we're trying out new things. That's what this series is all about. Things we've never done before. Thank you very much from me. And also, big shout out to Dara, our brand new editor. He edited the last episode. He's edited this episode. He's doing a fantastic job. So in the comments, make sure you shout him out as well. If you like the content, please be sure to like and subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you next time.